Lawmakers investigating January 6th have scored a major breakthrough. Former Trump White House counsel Pat Cipollone, a potentially pivotal witness with an insider's view of the West Wing, has agreed to testify under oath. That interview will take place behind closed doors this Friday, which is just two days from now. According to NBC News, his testimony will be videotaped and transcribed. Last week, the committee sent Cipollone a subpoena demanding he appear. That subpoena came just one day after the former White House aide, Cassidy Hutchinson's testimony to the January 6th committee. Mr. Cipollone said something to the effect of, please make sure we don't go up to the Capitol, Cassidy. Keep in touch with me. We're going to get charged with every crime imaginable if we make that movement happen. In the days leading up to the 6th, we had conversations about potentially obstructing justice or defrauding the electoral count. No surprise, tonight the committee says it is eager to hear Cipollone's version of how Trump and his allies worked to keep Joe Biden out of the White House despite his legitimate win in 2020. We've learned quite a bit about things that Mr. Cipollone said and did from uh, multiple other witnesses, uh, but there are some things that we'd like to hear from him directly, and uh, we hope that we will learn some things from him. He certainly was in the room uh, when a variety of things happened uh, relative to uh, the efforts to overthrow the election. We're also learning more tonight about the investigation into Donald Trump's possible election interference down in the state of Georgia. The prosecutor in that case has already issued subpoenas to several key allies. And today she told NBC News more are coming. Do we expect to possibly see additional subpoenas from people in former President Trump's inner circle, former Trump associates? Yes. Are we talking about family members? Are we talking about former White House officials? I mean, we'll just have to see where the investigation leads us. But um, I think that people thought that we came into this as some kind of game. Um, this is not a game at all. Might we see a subpoena of the former president himself? Uh, anything is possible. So we're not ruling it out. It is possible to... Absolutely. Absolutely. Meanwhile, we're also following developments as authorities investigate the 4th of July parade shooting in Highland Park, Illinois. The man charged with killing seven people now being held without bond. Today, authorities revealed he confessed after he was reminded of his rights to remain silent. His statement was voluntary. He went into details about what he had done. Uh, he admitted to what he had done. Officials also said the suspect traveled to Madison, Wisconsin after the shooting and considered carrying out another attack but decided against it. All of this comes amid questions about how the suspect was able to get several weapons despite having previous contacts with police.